Today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about this. Tika T1X MTR. So a couple of months per year here, ground squirrels, whistle pigs, run rampant. And I feel that I must do my part as a contributing member of society in population control. And I've been looking for something besides my 22 long rifle that can reach out just a little bit further. So let's talk about it. The star of the show, the mini long boy, Tika T1X MTR. I wanted a bolt gun, something with a little more energy that uh, didn't break the bank, you know what I'm saying? So I decided to try this in 17 HMR. Mm-hmm. The 17 HMRs fly around 2,500 feet per second. Y'all know how fast that is? At 1,700 miles an hour. 15 times faster than a 1994 Honda Civic. It's obviously got major ballistic advantages over 22 long rifle. Out of the barrel, it's three times as fast with two and a half times the energy. And at 100 yards, it's still got more energy than the 22 long rifle that I shoot out of the barrel. Yes. It's an apples to oranges situation. All this translates to excellent terminal ballistics on ground squirrels. And I think that these two platforms together make a great combo for that. Anyway, onto the rifle. The Tika T1X comes in 17 HMR and 22 long rifle. But y'all are probably wondering, how does it run? Get to the point. Nice guy. All right. All right. Let's find out. Well, we've got four different brands with four different groups of ammo out here today, and we're gonna shoot some groups at 50 yards. Come on. Come on. Okay, first up, we've got Federal Premium V-Shock, 17 grains. I think I pulled that one a little. Next up, we've got Hornady 17 grain VMAX. Next, we've got Hornady 20 grain XTP. And last, but hopefully not least, we've got some CCI 17 grain VMAX. Well, let's uh, let's go back in and uh, see what we've got. What are we working with here? 
Let's go find out, huh? Alrighty. Well, the best group was from the Hornady XTP is 20 grain. Coming in at 0.249. The biggest group was from CCI VMAX coming in at 0.511. I'd be really happy if all these were one holers, but I can't shoot well enough to throw 5.17 diameter bullets through the same hole. It's pretty windy out here in Idaho and these little rounds start getting pushed around quite a bit past 100 yards. So what I look for is can the cartridge complete the task within the limitations of the cartridge, which for me is uh, whistle pig population control. In this case, I think it can. And uh, I actually think it can outshoot me. So uh, accuracy, good to go. And uh, now let's get a little deeper. Let's get a little deeper into this thing, huh? Moving on to the barrel. The barrel is steel, cold hammer forged with a crossover profile that comes in 16 and 20 inch configurations. The crossover profile is supposed to have the advantages of a heavy barrel with the weight savings of a lighter profile. But uh, it's a small rim fire bolt gun, so I'm not really worried about thermal expansion and POI shifts. I shoot this a lot suppressed and I haven't noticed any POI shifts at all. So I guess it's doing its job. It comes in a twist rate of 1 in 9 for the 17 HMR and 1 in 16 and a half for the 22 long rifle variant. I chose the 20 inch version because I'm not going to be hiking very far with this thing for uh, all those crazy backwoods whistle pig hunts. So I wanted all the velocity that I could get. Hence, 20 inch barrel. Let's move on to the action. The T1X shares the same bedding surfaces and inlay footprint as its bigger brother, the T3X, and it's got a stainless steel bolt, handle, and a metallic bolt shroud. It comes milled with a dovetail and threaded for rings or uh, a base if you want to throw a Picatinny on there. I installed an aftermarket bolt handle from Anarchy Outdoors, and it changes the angle and makes it a little bit faster and more intuitive for cycling the bolt for quicker follow-up shots, and some people need that like me, because I miss a lot. But the action on this thing is very smooth, it doesn't have a lot of play, and it's got a nice positive lockup, which I really like. What, uh, what else can we talk about? Let's, uh, let's talk about the stock. Tika offers two different offerings, the MTR being the baseline version, and the UPR being a slightly upgraded version. The UPR has a rigid glass fiber stock, an adjustable cheek piece, a slightly shorter and more ergonomic design, QD sling mounting options, and weight savings of nearly half a pound. But this ain't that, okay? I went for the original for upfront cost savings because obviously I wanted to upgrade the chassis. If you want to stick with the original stock, it's compatible with most T3X accessories like different grips with different angles and uh, four ends. I wanted something that fit more my style and wants and looks, so I went with a KRG Bravo from Kinetic Research Group that I also got from Anarchy Outdoors. It's a little bit heavier, but uh, you know, since I'm not going on those mountainous whistle pig hunts, it's fine, I don't care. This chassis is very rigid, very ergonomic. It's got an adjustable length of pull, an adjustable cheek piece, and it's got a ton of mounting options. Just bare bones, nothing, nothing special. Let's talk about this trigger, man. The trigger is a single stage adjustable trigger that comes tuned from the factory right around four pounds. It has zero take up, a stiff wall, and a nice crisp break. If you take the barreled action out of the chassis, you'll find an adjustment screw to adjust the pull weight. I adjusted mine to right above two pounds, which is about the limit for maintaining drop safe features. And after having a pay-per-view fight with my rifle on the floor, I found that to be true. I'm usually one to replace the triggers in all my firearms, but I've actually found this to be one of the best triggers right out of the box. So I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Let's talk about these, the magazines. If you take one of these T1Xs home and unbox it, you'll find that it comes with one 10-round magazine, and additional magazines are going to run you about 35 bucks. 
Now honestly, I've beat this rifle up and I've let it get hot, dirty, and dry. And it's an amazing rifle right out of the box. But the magazines are definitely its downfall. The first hundred rounds or so out of this thing was flawless. And then I started getting some failure fires. And I would check the chamber and there would be no round in there. The rounds would be sitting down in the magazine below the feed lips just rattling around in there and in order to get them out you have to beat the crap out of the magazine on the ground or stick something in there at the front of the rounds to get them to pop back up. I purchased three additional magazines, two of which had the same problem. And it's kind of a big deal. You sit and wait for a shot, you get to take it, failure to fire, and there's no sound around except for the sound of your magazine laughing at your failure. Now, I don't know what causes this, if it's the angle of the feeder, not enough spring tension, or improper magazine design. But uh, come on, Tika. Come on. Please. Come on. Fix the mags. It ain't no fun, man. It ain't no fun. The muzzle on this thing is threaded in the very popular half by 28 TPI and comes with a beautiful plastic thread protector. I've had a lot of people argue that the 17 HMR is quiet enough unsuppressed to shoot without ear pro. And sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, depends on where you shoot. But I like shooting this thing suppressed, so it's nice to have a threaded barrel. And when it's suppressed, it's very close to ambient sound levels. And lastly, the price. $499. I think this rifle is priced very competitively. And for the performance and aftermarket part selection, I think you get a lot of rifle compared to contenders that cost significantly more. You like that I said that? Yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, subscribe to my channel. Those things do help me out. And like I've said before, they make me feel like an adult. And if you like guns, follow me on Instagram. And if you don't, well, just try them. You might. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.